I'm sorry, Lieutenant. You can be sure the Dean will be with you in a few moments. That's all right, ma'am. We're used to it. Death scenes 
over Michael Myers himself. Like, come on. That's a disrespect in itself also. Corey's death scenes were so fucking awesome. He put a blowtorch in a guy's mouth. That was crazy. A DJ, he cut his fucking tongue off. Shit landed on the record. But you kept skipping. Oh, uh, that was that was beautiful. But a part of me hated it because I knew it wasn't Michael behind that mask. So it was great death scenes, but it, it felt a little salty. Like, damn, I like it, but I shouldn't like it. I felt almost like I was betraying real Michael. I wasn't really getting Michael. He did another thing after that. Michael Myers need a tag team partner. Michael is tag teaming with Corey, killing people. Michael never needs a tag team partner ever. Fucking crazy. And then when Michael kills, his kills were basic. He stabbed a girl. He stuck up on the wall, the classic. He reenact some of his death scenes, but he only get about two or three deaths. Corey was bodying everything. The main scene, Michael Myers, the real Michael Myers, versus Lori. That was great. I really liked that fight. That was, it almost, it almost felt like it off. It almost felt like watching all the bullshit in the beginning. When it got to Mike and Lori showdown, it was like a payoff. It really was good. I really liked that. It was intense. And since you knew that it was going to be the last final one, supposedly, it was a sense of fear. Who is going to survive? Is Lori going to survive this? Is Michael going to survive? I would have rather for both of them to go out in a blaze of glory. Both are dead. But after the fight, you know, Lori, I like the way she catches him, pins him down on the table. She knocks the uh, refrigerator over on his legs to where he can't move. But the actual death, she just slit his throat, slit his wrists. Let him bleed out. You know, it was, it was okay. I understand it. It was like she was finally letting go, putting him to rest. And then, you know, they had a basically a, a parade. <laughs> I had him feel parade. They put him on top of a car, trailed him through the town, hundreds and hundreds of people following around. You see little shorty from 2018. You know, and uh, the other town members. And then, to put the icing on the cake, to make sure that there will not be another film made unless you reboot the whole franchise. They threw Michael into a car grinder. Looked like basically a meat grinder. Grind him up. It's over. Michael body is no more. I think it was it was good. It was pretty good. But it just went a completely different route that the previous movies went. If you go in into this movie thinking you're gonna get a traditional Halloween Michael Myers film, you're gonna be disappointed. If you go into this movie with an open mind, knowing that they're taking a different approach this time. They're gonna take a different road to get to the end. You might enjoy it. It's very enjoyable. It has a lot of scenes in there that you will like, but the overall story, damn. They dropped the ball on this one. They really did. They really did. 
anyway, that's my little review on Halloween ends. I don't know where they're gonna take it now. Like I said, I think the way that it ended, the only way I could see is if they reboot the whole, the whole thing and start from scratch. Get a new Loomis, get a new Michael and start from him being a kid. And we'll see what happens then. But, peace Mike. Cause I think it's gonna be a while before we see you again, bro. <laughs> Maybe in the future, years to come, people would look back on this movie the way they look back at Season of the Witch, part three. When Season of the Witch came out, it was released to the world, people hated it. Where was Michael? What the fuck is this? But 20, 30 years later, it's a cult classic. Part three is a great film. Maybe another 20, 30 years from now, people would look at Halloween Ends as a great film. But right now, sorry, we're not feeling it. <laughs> Especially not as a grand finale to the character, Michael Myers. Yeah, I think they definitely dropped the ball on this one. It was good, but for the most part, yeah, they, they fumbled. <laughs> they fumbled big time. They could have did so many other different things, but I, I do commend them for taking a chance, go different route, you know, I get it. But it just didn't work out. So, tune in to the next show. I don't know what I'm going to watch, but I guarantee you, it'll be something crappy from the 80s. Peace.